All right, let's get started with the line tool. You can find it here in the large tool set. It's also L as a keyboard shortcut. Line tool is very easy to use. It's a two click process. The first click sets the starting point and the second click determines the end point. Now I must stress in SketchUp that you wanna click and release, not click and drag or click and hold when you're using the line tool. Because as you'll notice, the line tool will continue drawing until you basically close a series of edges. Or if you press escape, you can stop the rubber band effect here. Now, if you want precise measurements, you can click and release to start the line tool. You can feel it snap in the red axes. And I can look down in my value control box to see what distance I'm drawing at. So in this case, if I want 30 feet, just simply type in 30 foot sign and then press return. Now I get that rubber band effect going in the green axis. You can type in 18 foot sign, return. And for my next line, instead of drawing this line at 30 feet, what I'm gonna do is infer. So if I just hover my cursor over this endpoint, I'm not clicking, just hovering. I can infer and see that dotted line go up to use as my inference point. I'll just click. And then in SketchUp, to end a point, you can just click on the little green circle there, and that's gonna create a face. SketchUp refers to surfaces as faces and lines as edges. So you can always see if you're on a face or on an edge. You can also infer to the midpoint with the little cyan dot, and endpoint's gonna give you a little green dot. Anywhere on an edge is gonna be a little red square, and anything on a face is gonna give you a blue diamond. So wherever you click from, you can always see how you can begin drawing. 